my god, I almost died. I'm out of here. Oh, I almost died. All right, guys, so today we are in beautiful Miami, Florida. So if you watched my last video, you guys know that we were in Boston for Boston Got Sold, but I was literally only there from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then I flew here to Miami to meet up with Mina. We had this trip to Miami planned before I got booked for Boston Got Sold, but I really wanted to do Boston Got Sold, so I took a quick detour. Mina took a flight here, and now we're here. Today is our official first day of shopping here in Miami. Yesterday was just like relaxing, but now we gotta go hit up all the stores and of course take you with us to see what we cop. Yeah, man, we're just catching the Miami vibes. It feels good to be back over here, one of my favorite places in the entire world. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get the day started. Look at this, bro. I feel like I'm about to fall off this. But yeah, let's get things started with a quick rate my outfit. Here she comes. All right, give us the outfit check, and then we're gonna rate the outfit. Hey, might, today, you might get a high rating today, by I the way. I was gonna say, today, I feel like I tried a little bit harder, so my rating should be a little bit higher. Yeah. So, you know, today, kids leggings. Okay, starting at the leggings. The Travis Lowe's on. Wow. Okay, I got the babe bucket hat. The babe bucket hat, okay. Don't forget my accessories, Van Cleef. That, and then my new Dior bag that babe wow. bought me. Wow, Valentine's. I like this I did vibe. Too. Yeah, what do you rate my fit? I got to give you a solid... This is a nine. I think this wow. is a nine right here. This is definitely That's you being a nine. Generous, no, no, I think this is definitely a nine. I personally, the purse, I think would have looked really sick with some Dior One lows, but I like the bucket hat matching the Travis lows. So That's yeah. That's what I was going for. I like, like it. All right, so for me, I honestly, I'm gonna give myself a rating before I start. I think I'm like at a 7.5, maybe an eight. It's still a little casual, but I wore it for a certain reason. But yeah, we got the Street Market Co. Virgil T, the RIP. I really like the back design on this a lot. And then we got the Richie Lee cargo shorts, and then we got the cargo off-whites. I wore these to Boston Got Soul, um, and I did that because I wanted to wear it to the event, and then I wanted to wear it today because there's like an LV, there's like an LV exhibit like outside the uh, design district area, a bunch of like Virgil's art and things like that. So we're gonna take photos there, so I thought it was only right to wear this tee. Oh, and the little LV bracelet i believe you got me this right yeah yeah you got me this right here it's right like flex you got going on look how he's smirking he's you know so happy saying? he's proud of his outfit the shoes today. are a 10 all right the shoes are a 10 but the rest of the outfit uh, i'll give you a solid 7.58 out of 10. 7.58 out of 10. yeah Bruh. so you like in between the, those two numbers okay i'll give you an 8 out of 10. okay 8 is more like it you all like right? it thank you i'm happy with that <laughs> Ready to shop? Cheers. My coffee to kick in first. Oh god, wake up. She's still on West Coast time. Alright guys, so we just left the LV store. Did a little buy in there. I really wanted the glasses. I've been wanting them for like two years now. Finally decided to pull the trigger. We're gonna go to Flight Club now. There is a Flight Club right here. I don't think we could film in Flight Club, but uh, let's go see if we're gonna get anything. Yep, and nothing in Flight Club. Well, actually, they had a lot of stuff in Flight Club, but we're not trying to pay. Not in our tax bracket. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to pay that flight club price this right here oh i don't think they i think they took away a lot of the stuff this used to be all the virgil stuff but it's looking like they took it all away the only thing they have still is the that billboard right there if i can get like a photo somehow yeah. with that yeah that's the only thing they have left is that man can we make it happen all right let's do it all right so first of all guys check out the new frames the what are they called the millionaires. millionaires right all right so these are the glasses i was talking about i've been wanting these for a very long time it made my outfit at least a 8.5. Yeah, it, it boosted your, your outfit for sure. All right, so now guys, we're going to a sneaker store called Daily MIA. A lot of people DM me, told me to go there because I say, what are some sneaker stores in Miami? So we're going to go check it out and see if they have anything because we weren't able to get anything from Flight Club. So hopefully they have the Yeezy slides here because I really want the black Yeezy slides. Me too, me too. So let's go see if they have it. Magically, we're outside the Uber. All right, Daily MIA. Let's see what they got. Oh, they push. That's false advertising. Or no, it is push. Maybe it's this one. It is this one. Six fifty missing lid. Dude, it's crazy because I bought these. 
for retail in 20 like 15 16 and nobody wanted these and now look at the price and i gave mine away for free too which is the annoying part this is the white of the shoe you hate you still don't like it they have an all black one too. I want that one. They want these, bro. Size 11. All right, guys, we checked out the store, but unfortunately there was nothing that I was trying to pick up. I mean, if I can get it back home, I'm not gonna get it out here. And there wasn't anything that I was really hunting for other than the Yeezy slides, the all black ones. I want the UNC sixes, which are unreleased, but a few people got them through the sneakers, early access links, but I haven't seen any, not even at Got Soul. And the red Yeezy 350s, the new version, they had them, but they only had a size 11. So I don't know, maybe we'll go to, oh, we gotta go to the other store in, in South Beach. Yankee Kicks. Okay, all right. I forgot, I didn't hear you. All right, we're not done yet. We're not done. We're gonna go check it out. I do listen to you. So the next day we went to South Beach and we found some fake sneakers on the strip. Mina really wanted a pair. Shattered backwards, Mina? I know you want to add these in the collection. Yeah, I'm so happy. Finally got my pair. Then we went to Yankee Kicks in South Beach and their store was crazy. I have never seen any store have this many early pairs. And they had some crazy PEs and exclusives. The sneaker that caught my eye the most was these Jordan 4s that I was really looking forward to. They had them, of course. But before we left Miami, we had to stop into one more store. All right, guys, so I didn't vlog inside the store, but there is a sneaker store literally right there called 305 Miami. We did actually spend the most amount of money at their store, and uh, we were rushing, so I didn't get the vlog, but yeah, we got two things, and uh, let's go show them everything we picked up at the hotel. All right, crew family, so we are back home and I'm gonna show you guys all of our pickups from Miami as well as a bunch of packages we got because we showed up to a few boxes. So I'm gonna open them all up and show you guys everything. All right, so first things first, from LV, I picked up these glasses right here. These are called the Millionaires. As you guys can see, it's got like the little LV logos and then even on this like little gold brim area, it's also got little LVs indented. I'm not really a glasses type of guy, but you know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna rock a pair, I wanna do something a little fly. The only sneakers I picked up from that entire trip was from Boston before I went to Miami and that was the Soulfly Jordan 1s, but I already showed you these. If you didn't see the last video, I'll show you a quick look, but yeah, these are the Soulfly Jordan 1 Lows. Soulfly is based in Miami so that's kind of cool that I was able to bust these out in the home state of Soulfly and yeah I definitely think these are great a lot of people agreed with me that it's a super underrated Jordan 1 like come on now it's regular suede on one swoosh and then it's pony hair on the inside swoosh like come on this shoe is just this shoe is dope man or as they say in London these shoes are mad man I don't know why I did a London accent right there we were in Miami not London t-shirts I picked up a few shirts I got this one right here from Kith I thought it was super dope it's like a vintage looking Rocky T. It's got the Kith logo right there. You got the Rocky Balboa right there. It's kind of like a movie poster. It's got the gloves and the spotlight. And then I also picked up this shirt right here from Saks Fifth Avenue. This is actually a t-shirt from the brand Rude. This shirt right here I thought was super dope. It's like a sports club LA tee. And uh, Rude is at that awkward stage. It's not streetwear, but it's not also high level fashion. It's like right in the middle. Last but not least for the t-shirts, I picked this one up right here. This this is the Gap, if you can even see the Gap logo on there. This is the Gap Kanye West Balenciaga long sleeve tee. Now, this actually fits me a little loose and it is a size medium. So if you plan to pick this shirt up or anything from this collection, just remember you're gonna have to go a few sizes down because I'm typically a size XL in t-shirts because I like them a little baggy. I, sometimes I wear a large but I prefer an XL. But yeah, in this shirt right here, a medium, it fit me a little loose. So yeah, we got the gap tee right here and then on the back we have the black dove. Miami was able to purchase them in person for the Donda 2 listening party. So I was hoping to grab one of these out there since I was in Miami a few days after the event. And luckily I was able to pick up this shirt from Rio 5 Souls, I believe was the sneaker, the sneaker store. That was my favorite store from out of the, all the sneaker shops we went to. Uh, no offense to the other stores, but 305 Sto Souls was the one that we actually purchased a few things from. They had great customer service, super dope shop. Also, obviously Yankee Kicks was dope too, but they just like, they didn't 
have anything in my size. So yeah, we got that one from 305 Souls. And then we got this actually from 305 Souls, which this was a big boy purchase right here. This is the Bape OVO collab Letterman jacket. So it's got the OVO owl on the back, full embroidered. And then it's also got the Bape star right here on the leather sleeve. And then on the other sleeve, it's got the OVO patch. Look at the inside lining. OVO owl on the Bape camel. That is so sick. I almost feel like they should have made a whole bomber jacket with that print right there. But this was actually found by Mina in the store and she was like, yo, this is super dope. It's a little oversized for me. And I was like, wait, let me try it on. So I tried it on and uh, this one's actually a large and it fits pretty, pretty good. So I'm happy we picked this up. We're going to kind of like share it. Things that fit me perfect. She could wear it oversized. Super dope jacket right here. And uh, as a diehard OVO fan, you guys know I am. I actually got a package from OVO over there too. I don't know why this wasn't in my collection any sooner. So yeah, we picked this up. Last but not least from the Miami pickups, they had a Stone Island store and I love me some Stone Island pants. And I thought these ones were sick because it's just an all white Stone Island pant patch right there that you could take on and off, but we always leave it on. But yeah, I needed to pick these up because they were just clean, man. All white vibes. All right. So you saw all of our Miami pickups, but as I mentioned, we got some packages that we got in the mail while we were gone. So let me show you guys everything. Now, as I mentioned, we were gone for a few days, so we did have some packages that arrive if you guys have the nike sneakers app which i'm assuming you probably do even though you hate it they did a restock on a few pairs and mina was actually able to hit on these right here honestly it's a shoe that i kind of wanted to add to my collection but i know it's not one that i see long term in my collection so we're probably going to just end up selling these on whatnot red lightning jordan fours right here we actually got them in a size nine i told mina to just get any size because i wasn't really planning to add them in the collection but now that i'm seeing them in hand these are pretty fire, bro. These are uh, these are pretty dope. But yeah, I'm gonna control myself because I'm not trying to add any more personals until I get a few other shoes that I'm looking for. But yeah, this is, if you were able to get these right here, this is a good Jordan 4 in my opinion. I know a lot of people were complaining about flaws and whatnot, but yeah, I think this shoe is, it's not bad. But yeah, Red Lightning 4s, shout out to Mina and her sneakers account because she's actually goaded on there. I'm goaded too, actually, hold on. I think I have a sneakers pickup, yeah. I got a sneakers pickup too. I hit as well. She wasn't the only one. We got some good energy. I don't know if it's the Wi-Fi at our crib or what it is, man, but we, I probably just jinxed us to be honest. But yeah, we got the Red Lightning 4s. Did get a package from Hat Club. This is the first time I ever got anything from Hat Club. Ooh, we got a little gold box in here. Ooh, what does it say? OG Edition Hat Club. Look at that, OG Edition Hat Club. Phew. Ooh, what the? All right, we got more than just a hat in here. We got this like, is this a pen right here? Look at this. What the heck is this? We got some Egyptian antique. Explore the mysteries Egypt. This is like a little block right here that you break open and find like old Egyptian artifacts in. That's actually pretty dope. And then we got a let, wow, this is this is an unboxing right here. The whole presentation adds to the, the value of this unboxing. All right, we got like a little note. I feel like I just found this in a dungeon or something or an Egyptian pyramid bro look at this like note they sent us i'm not gonna read this whole thing but you guys could read it right here this is what you call next level packaging but let's check this out right here this ladies and gentlemen i'm assuming is like an egyptian themed special fitted we got the khaki with the blue sf and then that side patch right there with the blue under brim this is fire. Bro, the whole presentation, even the little like confetti, like everything was just, bro, this was next level. Hat Club, appreciate this unboxing. This is sick. Put this on real quick. Of course, we gotta, you know, bend it and get that right, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh, and the pin. We cannot forget the mummy pin. I didn't even see that until right now. Look at that little mummy pin right there. That's fire. All right, let's keep it moving right here with another unboxing from Nike. As I mentioned, Mina hit on the red lightnings, but I, I don't know, man. I've just been having some really good luck. About two, I think it was two weeks ago, I hit on the Marina Blue Jordan ones. So I honestly didn't think I was gonna hit again on sneakers, but I did hit again. And again, it was again, again. And again, it was a pair of Jordan ones. So this color right here smell them right now and they just smell amazing this one right here is the brotherhood air jordan ones these are it's definitely a funky colored shoe but they're pretty dope 
Oh, the smell is just... All right, so basically this shoe right here is in honor of Michael Jordan's fraternity. I originally thought that this was a Lakers colorway when we first saw images when they did like the rollout of the season, but it ended up being that this was in honor of his fraternity. And yeah, man, this shoe is... This shoe is pretty fire. I don't even know what to call this purple, but it's definitely like a lighter matte purple. Really, really good quality yellow right here and on the upper. So this leather quality is really good. The sock liner actually looks a little bit different. It kind of feels like it's a towel material. All right, so let me know. You guys think I should keep these? Do you think I could pull it off? As much as I like them, I didn't appreciate them at first. I appreciate them now for what they are and the quality, but like... I don't know, man. I don't think I could wear these too often. I don't have a lot of things that could match this. Um, So yeah, we got two sneaker pickups in the mail right there. Oh, this is from OVO. But yeah, this one right here is from two or three weeks ago. And it's honestly nothing too special. It's like these velvet pants that Mina wanted. So we got her these velvet sweatpants. It's got like the OVO embroidered throughout the whole legging. And then I just got myself a basic t-shirt that they dropped. Blue flame OVO logo. It's literally just the OVO logo blacked out. You can't even see the eye or anything just blue flames on there it's pretty cool so yeah guys that's gonna wrap up the miami vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed see you guys on the next one